The Upper Gila Watershed Alliance, or UGWA for short, officially became a nonprofit in 1996. So this year, we're celebrating our 25th anniversary. Pretty good for an organization that began in the tiny, yet mighty, Gila Valley. This is how the founders of UGWA described their reasons for starting a nonprofit. We recognize the necessary connection between our individual and collective rights and responsibilities as landowners and community members and the long-term stewardship of the Upper Gila River Valley and watershed. Members of UGWA share a love for our community, which is an integral part of our lives and therefore seek to harmonize our presence and activities within the watershed for the health and integrity of the entire community, which includes the soil, air, water, people, plants, and animals. 25 years later, we're still committed to that goal of harmonizing our presence. What that means in practical terms is that UGWA works in three main areas, advocacy, education, and restoration. Examples of our advocacy work is our long-term campaign to protect the Gila River from an ecologically harmful and really expensive diversion. After more than 15 years of working to prevent a diversion, we finally won. A bill sponsored by our allies in the New Mexico legislature was passed in March 2021, and it ends funding for the New Mexico CAP entity, the proponents of a diversion that would have benefited just a handful of irrigators. Now, New Mexico's Water Trust Board will advise the Interstate Stream Commission on how $80 million in federal funding should be spent for water projects to benefit southwest New Mexico. Another long-term advocacy issue that we won in 2021 is the defeat of the Air Force's proposal to do military trainings over the Gila National Forest, including the wilderness areas. Working with a coalition of conservation groups and concerned individuals and supported by hundreds of local residents, we convinced the Air Force that the Gila is an inappropriate place for the roar of jets and the dropping of chaff and flares. We're also engaged in the Gila National Forest's revised management plan, which is important because the plan dictates which actions and projects can proceed. Our input to the Forest Service is the need to include robust protections for streams, watersheds, and wildlife habitat, and also to take meaningful steps to safeguard against the impacts of climate change. Restoration and stewardship of our watershed is an ongoing process in order to maintain the resiliency of aquatic ecosystems. Since 2016, we have been eradicating salt cedar, an introduced invasive species that can change water chemistry by increasing salinity and outcompeting native vegetation. This coming season in 2021, our crew will survey, cut, and treat these plants along the main stem and east fork of the Gila River. In any ecosystem, increased biodiversity equates increased stability. In 2019, UGWA was awarded a River Stewardship Grant by the New Mexico Environment Department to work with the Forest Service to fence Adair Spring, located near Luna. By building a cattle and elk exclosure, this three-year project will restore over six acres of degraded spring source and adjacent riparian area. Past years' restoration and stewardship projects include the installation of boulder barriers to prevent motorized access into the Gila River, stream restoration projects to recharge groundwater, cleaning up man-made debris that washed into the Gila River from private property after a record flood, unsightly and potentially dangerous items removed included refrigerators, insulation, entire sides of cabins, and even hot water heaters. Youth education is the heart of UGWA's environmental education program. UGWA hosts the Children's Water Festival, an educational field trip to the Gila River for fifth graders in local, rural, underserved school districts. 
Students learn about the ecology of the river and the importance of responsible stewardship, all while having fun at the river. As temperatures and sea levels rise, and as natural disasters gain frequency and extremity, scientists clearly state that humans are altering the systems of the Earth and thereby triggering major climate change. Humans are challenged in a manner that we have never before experienced. UGWA is tackling this issue head-on by having created a program called Thinking on a Mountain, a collaborative citizen science-based field ecology program targeted for the region's junior high and high school students. The project name, Thinking on a Mountain, is a tribute to visionary conservationist Aldo Leopold's influential essay, Thinking Like a Mountain. The project is designed to give students a strong foundation in resiliency science and to empower our region's youth, those with the most to lose, with the knowledge, tools, and passion that they will need to influence regional decision makers and land managers. We offer programs to increase knowledge and ecological literacy by teaching a broad array of field ecology studies. This summer of 2021, we will offer eco-camps, eco-clubs, and a cross-generational community eco-thon in hopes to develop a sustainable mindset which will give our youth additional skills for employability in this new frontier that offers so many possibilities.